Hey guys, <laughs> Jay Ray here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just popping in here for a quick little update. Um, I hope everybody is well. Um, I hope everybody is safe and healthy as well. And if you're working from home, um, just stick in there. Yeah, I have to go out and go to work every day, so I understand how difficult it could be. For those of you who are out of work, stay prayed up and know that I'm praying for you. But anyhow, um, to the point of this video, I'm sorry I can't really see you. I'm looking for the um, <laughs> looking for the viewfinder. I'm cleaning my glasses. Anyhow, um, so just got home, just hopped out the shower, decided to wash my hair. By the way, I have to do a hair update. If you haven't watched my previous video. Go back and watch it um i cut my hair off just starting all over but anyhow um washed my hair shampooed and conditioned it and went to grease my scalp because if you're not aware i have been using the um blue magic grease on my hair and i have the super grow and the green one with the bergamot and I recently picked up the um, Blue Magic Indian Hemp. It's right here. So anyhow, I wanted to make this quick video because I opened it up and there is a mold growing in the grease. Now, at first I was like, hmm, could that be like some fuzz from some cotton or something? But I don't use anything that would be placed in the grease to do that um i'm not sure what's going on with this formulation but it's a no for me this one is the indian hemp green tea leaves jojoba aloe and safflower safflower i picked this one up at walmart because i had not used this one before and i love me some blue magic I picked this up because the super grow one was drying my hair out so I've decided to find something else and I decided to check out the um the green one with the bergamot in it that's the one that I remember growing up using and I've had no problems with it there's absolutely nothing going on with it and um picked up this one I've had this maybe maybe a couple weeks and I don't know about you, but I'm not really accustomed to inspecting what's in my container when I scoop it out and just put it in my hair. So I'm just a little taken aback. I'm going to throw this out. Um, needless to say, I'm a little bit ticked off because I have been using it and it could have been growing mold all this time and I have just neglected to see it. I'm not sure if it's just this container. I'm not sure if it got some water in it, but there's absolutely no liquid in there. And by it being grease, you could clearly see if there's water in the container. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really, really, really bothered. And it's literally growing on the surface. So let me know if anybody has had this issue with the blue magic um i'm going to contact the company i'm going to take some pictures contact the company of course and let them know about this mess um i don't need my money back or anything but this is going in the trash i did um rewash my hair because now i'm a little bit paranoid um did a acv rinse and i think i'm just gonna um oil my scalp with some coconut oil and some olive oil until I find a um, suitable substitute for myself and I may even stop using their products altogether because right now I don't know I just don't trust it and I'm sorry I do have a throat lozenge in um, I've been using lately if you guys are looking for something especially if you're out in contact with the public and you're just trying to keep yourself healthy I've been using the Zans what is this this brand they come in like little purple tablets um the elderberry um throat lozenges and i've been taking using them every day also got some elderberry vitamins as well and of course my tea my hot tea i've been drinking just keep myself healthy 
because I'm in contact with the public during this pandemic. But anyhow, um, enough rambling. I really just came on here to let you guys know what I found. Like, haha, welcome home. You have mold. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Can you see that? It's like literally right there. If you can't see it. And then there's more. It's like inside the. Like right up in there. Right there. So, yeah. The reason I did an ACV rinse to, re, um, to backtrack is because I know that it will balance some of the pH balance, you know, for my hair, my scalp. Do a deep cleanse. And I could try to rid myself of any bacteria that I may have come into contact with using this product. Um, so yeah, that's why I did the ACV rinse. I'm not gonna cut my hair back off. I haven't experienced any changes in my hair except for the drying that I experienced with the other um, Blue Magic Sheer Girl formulation. And I'm not gonna use that anymore anyway because of that because I don't wanna walk around with dry, crispy hair. That was one of the problems in the first place when I cut my hair off again. Um, so yeah, and I also added some tea tree oil to my scalp and massage that in. So I think I'm just gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some coconut oil and some olive oil. And just wrap my hair up for tonight. I think I'm done for today. I don't have anything else I need to do today. I'm off of work, thank goodness, for the weekend. And, um, yeah, I may come back tomorrow or in the next couple of days with a hair update. Um, it's been growing pretty well, in my opinion. Um, it's filling in. It's getting thicker. I could feel that it is getting a little bit thicker. And it just looks and feels overall healthy. These strands right here, people always ask me about the strands. And people suggest that I cut off my permed and relaxed ends. But that is just a little bit of Sally and Bethany growing out of my scalp. Um, I have several different textures of hair on my head. On my head. So, yeah, it just really is what it is. But anyway, enough rambling. Hope that everyone is doing well. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor and click the subscription button below. If you've been watching my videos and you're not yet subscribed, please click the subscription button below. Um, I'm gonna try and be a little bit more consistent. I think I know now where I want this channel to go and what I want it to um, transition into, so to speak. And also, if you guys are TikTokers, if you have a TikTok channel, let me know below. I got a little bored last week and opened up a TikTok channel. Yes, as a grown-ass woman, I did. And I'm having fun. So, um, if you'd like to have some fun with me, watch my videos. If you want me to watch yours, feel free to drop your um, TikTok name below. You can find me. J. Raymeen, same as my channel name on TikTok if you want to follow me on there. And um, as usual, have a beautiful day. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. This right here. Check your product, okay? Check your product. Okay. Um, that's, that's, just check your product. Open up your containers and check it before you use it. Um, check the expiration dates. Smell it. Check it, okay? Yeah. Okay, enough, enough. Bye, bye.